Good morning, as we greet the first days of December you might notice a distinct chill in the air, a sign that winter is truly settling in, the days are getting shorter and the sun rises over frosty rooftops painting a beautiful but brisk start to each morning. As we move past Thanksgiving and into December the big weather story is the cold. This year the transition from fall to winter is expected to be more abrupt than usual, catching many off guard. The familiar sight of frost on windows and snow-dusted streets will become a daily occurrence for millions. Get ready to pull out those heavy coats, scarves, and gloves, because December 2025 is shaping up to be much colder than recent years. If you haven't already, now's the time to dig out your warmest winter gear and make sure it's ready for action. Multiple long-range models agree. A major pattern shift is coming, bringing sustained Arctic air to much of North America. Meteorologists are closely watching these models, and the consensus is clear. A significant cold snap is on the horizon, with temperatures dropping well below seasonal averages. For many in the central and eastern US and Canada, November has been mild. But don't be fooled by the recent warmth. The gentle breezes and lingering autumn colors are about to give way to a much harsher reality. The stage is set for a dramatic pattern flip, ushering in winter with real bite. Expect a rapid change as clouds thicken, winds pick up, and snow begins to fall, transforming the landscape almost overnight. Now is the time to check your heating, winterize your car, and make sure your home is ready to handle the cold. Don't wait until the first deep freeze to discover your furnace isn't working or your car battery is weak, and make sure your family is ready. Stock up on essentials like blankets, batteries, and non-perishable food. Preparing now can make all the difference if a winter storm knocks out power or makes travel difficult. We're forecasting a southward plunge of frigid air, with dangerous wind chills that could make outdoor activities risky. Be mindful of the forecast, and take extra precautions to protect yourself and your loved ones from the cold. There will also be increased chances for snow and ice, making roads slippery and commutes more hazardous. Allow extra time for travel and keep an emergency kit in your vehicle just in case. Over the next sections we'll break down the drivers behind this cold, the timing, and what you can expect in the weeks ahead. We'll also look at how this pattern could impact holiday plans and travel, and of course we'll show you what it means for your region, so you can be prepared no matter where you live. From the Great Lakes to the Gulf Coast, everyone will feel the effects of this Arctic blast. The message is clear, winter is coming, and it's coming in strong. This is not the year to take December lightly, so bundle up, stay safe, and get ready because this December means business, and the coldest days are just ahead. To truly grasp why the cold is coming, we need to look far to the north, beyond the familiar, into the heart of the Arctic. The secrets of our winter weather often begin in these remote frozen expanses, where powerful atmospheric forces quietly set the stage for what's to come. One of the most important players is a stubborn high-pressure system that parks itself near Greenland. Meteorologists call this the Greenland block. When this block forms, it's a classic warning sign that cold air is about to make a move into the eastern United States and Canada. The block acts like a wall, disrupting the usual west-to-east flow of weather and forcing the atmosphere to find a new path. With the Greenland block in place, a direct highway opens for frigid Arctic air to surge southward. This isn't just a gentle breeze, it's a powerful, relentless push of cold that can transform mild autumn days into deep winter almost overnight. Meanwhile another key feature develops on the other side of the continent, a ridge of high pressure over Alaska and the west coast. This ridge forces the jet stream to arch far to the north, then plunge dramatically southward. The result? A deep trough forms over central and eastern North America, setting the stage for widespread cold. Think of this setup as a giant atmospheric scoop reaching up into the Arctic and dragging bitterly cold air deep into the heart of the continent. The cold doesn't just arrive, it invades, sweeping across plains, forests, and cities alike. What makes this pattern even more impactful is how it slows everything down. Instead of fast-moving storms that come and go, the cold lingers, settling in and deepening with each passing day. Neighborhoods grow quieter under a thickening blanket of snow, and the landscape transforms into a world of ice and frost. Any storms that do form in this setup have an abundance of cold air to work with. That means a higher risk of heavy snow, dangerous ice, and travel disruptions for millions of people. 
cities and towns from the Midwest to the East Coast can find themselves suddenly buried under snow, with roads turning treacherous and visibility dropping in swirling flurries. When meteorologists talk about a negative North Atlantic Oscillation, or NAO, this Greenland block is exactly what they mean. The negative NAO is a signal that the atmosphere is primed for cold, snowy conditions across the Atlantic and into North America. Current forecasts show the NAO staying negative well into December. This gives us even more confidence that the cold pattern will persist, making a wintry start to the season increasingly likely. Together, the Greenland block and the Alaskan ridge form a powerful one-two punch, shaping the jet stream and delivering a wintry December for much of North America. Understanding these patterns is key to predicting and preparing for the cold ahead. Let's go higher, to the stratosphere, where something remarkable is brewing, a sudden stratospheric warming event. This event disrupts the polar vortex which usually keeps Arctic air locked up north. When the stratosphere rapidly warms, it weakens or splits the polar vortex, letting lobes of frigid air spill south. The models show a strong, early stratospheric warming for late November, a major red flag for a cold December. These events can reshape the jet stream, making it wavier and prone to deep Arctic outbreaks. Think of it as bumping a spinning top, the polar vortex wobbles, sending cold air careening south. The signal for this event is unusually clear and intense, adding high confidence to our forecast. Expect a major cold air mass to hit North America as we enter December. Snow cover is a key clue for winter forecasts. As of mid-November, snow across Siberia and Canada is much more extensive than last year. Early snowpack reflects sunlight, keeping the ground and air colder, and pre-cools the Arctic for deeper cold later. When the Greenland block and polar vortex disruption take shape, they'll have a colder reservoir to draw from. More snow means colder air, which helps more snow stick, a classic feedback loop. Heavy Siberian snow is linked to a weaker polar vortex, and a negative Arctic oscillation, both favoring cold. The snow already on the ground is actively refrigerating the air that's heading our way. As late November unfolds, many across the country are enjoying a stretch of unseasonably warm weather. The sun lingers a little longer in the sky and the air feels gentle, almost as if autumn is reluctant to let go. People stroll through parks in light jackets, savoring the last golden days before winter's arrival. But this pleasant warmth is about to give way to a dramatic transformation as December approaches. East of the Rockies, the weather has been especially mild, with temperatures running above average for this time of year. Around Thanksgiving, families gather outdoors, enjoying the sunshine and mild breezes, all thanks to a jet stream pattern that's been keeping cold air at bay. But as the sun sets on these warm days, a shift is brewing in the atmosphere. And as December begins, the weather pattern will flip almost overnight. A powerful surge of Arctic air will spill over the Rockies, plunging temperatures across the northern plains and setting the stage for a widespread cold outbreak. The wind will pick up and snow will begin to blanket the landscape, signaling the true arrival of winter. Cities like Minneapolis, Chicago, and St. Louis will be among the first to feel the brunt of this cold, with residents trading in their light jackets for heavy coats, scarves, and gloves. Soon after, the chill will sweep eastward, reaching major east coast cities like New York and Boston, where cloudy skies and dropping temperatures will signal the start of winter in earnest. By the second week of December, a deeply entrenched cold pattern will stretch from the Rockies all the way to the Atlantic, bringing below normal temperatures and the potential for widespread snow cover across much of the country. This isn't just a brief cold snap, this is a persistent stubborn pattern that will keep much of the nation shivering for days, if not weeks. It's a full-scale Arctic invasion, with icy winds cutting through city streets and transforming familiar landscapes into winter wonderlands. Meanwhile, the West will see a shift from stormy, unsettled weather to a quieter pattern as the cold air moves east, leaving behind clearer skies and a sense of calm after the storms. The storm track will follow the cold, with new systems developing and tracking across the central U.S bringing rounds of snow and wintry mix to areas that have only just begun to feel the chill. This sets the stage for more active winter weather in the central and eastern U.S., with snowstorms and icy conditions likely to impact travel and daily life. 
The sight of autumn leaves quickly disappearing beneath a fresh blanket of snow marks a sharp and sudden end to the fall season. For millions, this will be a jarring introduction to winter, a season that's arriving with force, bringing cold, snow, and a whole new set of challenges to communities across the nation. To see what's coming for North America, look at Europe. European models show a significant cooldown for late November, tied to the same Greenland block and polar vortex disruption. Europe often feels the effects first, confirming the global pattern shift is underway. Cold in Europe reinforces the high-pressure block, keeping the jet stream wavy and favoring cold outbreaks on both sides of the Atlantic. So, chilly news from London or Berlin is a preview of what's heading our way. Recent winters were shaped by La Nina, but this year, La Nina is weak and fading. With its influence waning, other drivers, like the Greenland block and polar vortex, take center stage. This makes the cold December forecast more straightforward, as Arctic signals dominate. The fading La Nina means the south is more vulnerable to Arctic outbreaks, and the storm track could shift east. Instead of a predictable Pacific pattern, we're looking at a more volatile, Arctic-driven setup. The sudden stratospheric warming event becomes the key player, shaping our weather for weeks. This winter, the Arctic, not the tropics, will be in control. Prepare for a season where the poles call the shots. Who gets snow and ice? The pattern will bring multiple chances for winter weather across the country. Late November, stormy on the west coast with rain and mountain snow. Early December, the cold shifts east, setting up a battleground for storms from the central plains to the Great Lakes. First, significant snow could hit Iowa, Missouri, Ohio, and Michigan in early December. Lake effect snow will bury the usual snow belts as cold air pours over the Great Lakes. By mid-December, the East Coast could see classic nor'easters, with heavy snow and ice from D.C. to Boston. Forecasting exact storms is impossible this far out, but the pattern is primed for major winter events. Now's the time to prepare for disruptive weather. Cold air will be more than sufficient for snow and ice. To sum up, December 20.25 will bring a colder than average month for most of North America, driven by Arctic forces, West Coast, stormy and cool through November, then quieter as December begins. Central U.S. Expect a dramatic temperature drop in the season's first major snow in early December. Great Lakes, Midwest, Northeast. Enjoy late November warmth, but brace for a shock as cold and lake effect snow arrive in December. East Coast by mid-month expect sustained cold and the threat of significant snow and ice storms. Even the South could see deep Arctic intrusions. Europe, your cooldown comes first as the global pattern shift sends Arctic air your way. The weak La Nina has opened the door for the Arctic to take over. Use this time to prepare your home, car, and wardrobe. December 2025 is shaping up to remind us all what a real winter feels like. Stay warm and stay safe.